Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to take a look at the 3 in 1 mattress from Luxie Sleep. Luxie 3 in 1 mattress got its name because of its ability to adjust between soft, medium, and firm firmness levels. You can actually adjust that yourself once you receive the mattress. I'm going to have a separate video showing you how to flip the foam layers inside, uh, an instructional video. It's pretty easy. I just wanted to point that out. I should also mention that the mattress ships in the medium firmness version, uh, so that's what we're going to perform the review on today. I will have some more information about the soft and firm versions uh, and adjustability levels uh, in the written review, so be sure to check that out at sleepopolis.com. I also want to point out that if you have any questions about the review or the mattress, uh, you can leave a note below if you want to leave some of your personal sleep preferences, I'll be sure to personally answer and respond to that question. Now we're going to jump into the review with the construction of the mattress. And we're going to start with the cover. Now, the cover material is a mix of polyester and viscose. Uh, now, viscose is an absorbent material, so it's going to help with temperature regulation and cooling. Uh, it's a pretty soft material, and I should also point out that the cover is actually quilted with memory foam, uh, so it's going to provide some initial uh, comfort and pressure relief right when you're lying on top of the mattress. You can see it snaps back into place. You won't have to worry about it bunching up. Uh, and as I press in, I can't actually see uh, you know, my hand print stay there because of the slow response of the memory foam quilted into the cover. Now let's take a look at the layers of the mattress. The Luxie Sleep 3-in-1 mattress is an all foam construction made of five different layers. We've already discussed the memory foam that's quilted into the cover of the mattress. So we're gonna move into the uh, core of the mattress here. We're gonna start with uh, the medium comfort layer, which they call the SBT layer, which stands for Support Balancing Technology. That is a pretty firm foam and has a quick response to pressure. The unique thing about this layer uh, and what makes it the SBT layer are these channels that are cut into the layer here, as well as on the side, which create kind of columns in the mattress. Uh, now these channels that are cut in allow for improved airflow through the mattress uh, for temperature regulation and cooling. And they also create a unique feeling when uh, pressure is applied. They're going to allow you to sink in for pressure relief, as well as uh, help for uh, spinal alignment when lying in a few different positions on the mattress. Below that, we have an inch of memory foam. You can see that response to pressure there. Now that's going to provide some contouring as you uh, sink further into the mattress. Helps with side sleepers if you, um, you know, need a little further pressure relief further down into the mattress. Below that, we have uh, a layer of uh, Luxie Sleep's proprietary Luxitex uh, foam. It's kind of a latex-like foam. It has a quick response to pressure. This foam is going to help with uh, temperature regulation and cooling, uh, really help to dissipate body heat. Uh, one thing I should point out uh, again is that depending on the firmness level that you choose in the mattress, you can actually flip these foam layers. Uh, they kind of come together um, encased in the fire sock, which I have cut off. Uh, so if you do prefer to have this layer uh, closer towards the top, this will become the comfort layer. Uh, so again, it has a quick response to pressure so you won't feel stuck in the mattress and it will help with temperature regulation and cooling. And finally, at the bottom, we have uh, the base layer. It's a high density foam. Um, it's pretty firm, it has a quick response to pressure. It's really gonna act as the foundation of the mattress, supporting the foam layers above it, as well as some deep compression support to the uh, sleeper on top of the mattress. Um, there. It's also going to lend some durability to the overall structure of the mattress. Another thing I should point out is that for queen size uh, three in ones and above, uh, it comes in split firmness levels. So it actually has uh, two sides, and you can have um, you know different firmnesses uh, for you and your partner depending on the side of the mattress that you sleep on. Again, uh, I will show the process of flipping the mattress in a separate video which can be found on the written review at sleepopolis.com. Now that we've seen what makes up a 3-in-1 mattress, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of it. I did want to reiterate that 
as the Luxie Sleep ships in the medium firmness level, I'm going to be performing the review on that level of the mattress. However, if you would like a wider description of the feel and firmness of the softer and firmer uh, levels of firmness for the Luxie Sleep 3-in-1, you can check out our written review at sleepopolis.com. I'm going to start by pressing into the mattress. And the initial feeling is of the memory foam that's quilted into the cover. I've read some initial pressure relief and I can feel it contouring to my hand. So press in with both hands, add a little bit more pressure, start to interact with that SBT layer, which has that uh, unique quality of those channels cut in that forms uh, kind of the columns in the uh, top layer of the 3-in-1. Uh, really has an interesting feel of kind of um, giving into pressure wherever I, uh, wherever I apply it, um, which has an interesting contouring uh, kind of feel to it. I'm going to lie down on the mattress. I'm going to start on my back. You know, on my back, my weight's pretty evenly distributed, uh, so I don't feel like I'm sinking too far into the mattress. I do feel like that uh, quilted foam in the cover is kind of filling in that space beneath my lower back, which is good for back sleepers. If I roll around and kind of change positions, I don't feel stuck in the mattress at all, uh, which is nice. Uh, I also, because of those channels that are cut into that top layer that form the SBT layer, um, I can kind of feel uh, my weight being kind of passed between those columns as it adjusts uh, underneath my weight, which is pretty interesting. Um, now I'm going to roll onto my side here. You know, side sleepers want to be extra conscious of um, higher pressure due to an increase in uh, weight concentration over a lower surface area. Because of that increase in pressure, a lot of times side sleepers will have troubles at their shoulders and their hips uh, due, uh, on firmer mattresses. Because of that, a lot of side sleepers like softer mattresses to allow them to uh, sink in for uh, further pressure relief. We are going to take a closer look at pressure uh, later on in the review. I did just want to bring that up and mention that um, I don't really feel any of those pressure points forming in this position and I also feel that uh, that SBT layer really allows me to kind of sink in and does a good job of uh, keeping my spine in a good position while I'm on my side. I'm going to roll onto my stomach. Uh, on my stomach I don't really feel any pressure on my chest which is nice uh, because it makes it pretty easy to breathe in this position. Um, I also should point out that I don't really feel like my hips are sinking too far into the mattress. Uh, the foam on top is, you know, in that medium firmness range uh, is designed, so uh, it's doing a pretty good job of keeping my hips up. Uh, however, everyone can feel the firmness of a mattress a little bit differently because they have different uh, sizes and weight distributions. So for reference, I'm about 5'10", 190 pounds. Uh, if you would like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of this mattress uh, and a more detailed description of the feel of it, you can check out the written review at sleepopolis.com. The ability to relieve pressure is one of the most important attributes of any mattress that you buy. Instead of just describing the feel of the Luxie's 3-in-1 to you, I'm going to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form while lying on the mattress. To do that, I've placed a pressure map on top, and I'm going to lie down on it in a few different positions. You're going to see the results next to me, ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. I'm going to start on my back. Roll on my side. Try a few positions here on my side. Finally on my stomach. If you plan on sharing your bed with a partner, the ability of a mattress to isolate motion can be incredibly important. To test this, we've set up a seismometer on one side of the bed where someone might be sleeping. And on the other side, I'm going to drop this 10 pound steel ball from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches. We're going to check to see how much disturbance is transferred from one side of the mattress to the other. 
First to drop from four inches. Now from eight inches. Finally from 12 inches. For many people buying a mattress, it'll be important to know if they're going to feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into the mattress. To test this, we've set up our sinkage test in which we use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts and check how far into the mattress they go. First up in the singage test, we have our six pound med ball. It's the lightest ball we use during this test and simulates a lighter body part. We found that it sinks into the Luxie three in one, two inches. Next up in the singage test, we have the 10 pound seal ball. It's the densest ball we use during this test. We found that it sinks into the mattress three inches. Next up in the singage test, we have the 50 pound med ball. It's filled with sand and simulates a heavier body part. We found that it sinks into the mattress four and a half inches. And finally, in the sinkage test, we have the 100 pound medicine ball. It's the heaviest ball we used during this test, and we found that it sinks into the three and one, six and a half inches. If you plan on sharing the bed with a partner, you need to use the entire surface area of the mattress. Edge support is something you're going to want to take a look at. You might feel stable near the side of the mattress, not like you're going to roll out of bed or anything like that. Now, when I'm near the side of the Luxie three and one, lying near the side, I feel it pretty consistent feel with how it was towards the center of the mattress here on the side. If you get really close to the edge, kind of hang off, start to see some compression uh, through that, uh, you know, softer layers of foam, the SBT layer as it kind of contours my body, you can see that there. So change positions, and roll around, hang off the side of the mattress. Again, some compression through that top layer of foam. That's to be expected, but uh, I still feel very secure in my positioning on the top of the mattress here. When I sit up on the side of the mattress, uh, you know, think putting my shoes on in the morning or getting into bed at night, uh, this does a good job of showing, um, you know, what an increased weight concentration will do uh, to a portion of the edge of the mattress. And again, we do see some uh, compression through the foam. That's pretty common with foam mattresses uh, and uh, nothing too out of the ordinary there. And now for some basic information about the three-in-one mattress from LuxiSleep. There's a 100-night trial period, a 10-year warranty, and shipping is free and it will arrive compressed in a box. Now who would recommend this mattress to is if you're looking for a mattress with adjustability. Not only can you adjust the firmness level of the mattress yourself by flipping the foam layers inside, but LuxiSleep also offers foam inserts if you have special sleep needs such as an injury or pregnancy, and also, if you are a heavy sleep, heavier sleeper in the 300 plus pound range or so, uh, you can ask for a special foam insert for some added durability and firmness. I'd also recommend this mattress to couples. The Luxie 3 in 1 uh, has split uh, construction for queen size mattresses and above, meaning that each side of the mattress can have its own feel and firmness to it. And also, the SBT layer does a good job of isolating motion transfer, which is important if you're sharing the bed with a partner. And finally, I'd recommend this mattress if you sleep in multiple positions. I found that the SBT layer did a good job of uh, supporting my weight in a couple different positions and changing my body so that I felt a good mix of support and comfort in multiple positions on top of the mattress. That's it for the review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions about the mattress or the review, please leave a note below. And don't forget to read our written review at sleepopolis.com. Have a nice day.